the next big thing is how do you get this beautiful looking calendar into your database. So I created this, now I want to use it. So I'm going to walk you through the steps one by one, and there are, the reason I'm doing this is because there are actually many ways to put this in your system. If you're using it within FileMaker Pro, you'll click this button. Okay. First thing you want to do, and just well, again, it's going to walk you through the step by step of how to put this into your system. And once you've done it once, it's actually relatively straightforward. The basis of this is that you're going to be pasting a web viewer into here. Okay, we're going to open the solution. We've already opened it. I'll open it again. There it is. Um, create a layout in your solution where you're going to put this calendar. So I'm just going to go into layout mode. I'm going to do a new layout. I'm going to call this my new calendar view. Uh, and I'll just make a blank layout. And done. I open that up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Now, create a web viewer on your new layout and assign it the following URL. Now, I really actually recommend using the Copy Web Viewer Object button. And there's a really good reason for that. Uh, and that is that it also assigns an object name to the web viewer that's called by our scripts. So I'm just going to paste this. And that's what it copied and pasted. And you'll notice that this should be identical to what's in here. Here now, and I go into browse mode. This is my new calendar exactly as it should appear, automatically resizing with the layout. And that's that. It's all done. Double click an event, up pops my window, actual event edited, click done, and voila.